another quirky project by Billy50 Designs. <laughs> Now we're going to be working on our passport wallet crossbody bag thing. <laughs> so it's our little piggyback. Uh, let's see, we've got um, an outside back. I've got my two strap connectors. I've got a lining piece. And then I've got my front and a front lining piece. This front doesn't have a lining piece because you don't see up there. I've got another two, that's for the lining for the other side. And this is my passport pocket. And this is my card pocket, which is still going. So let's start at the beginning. The back and the first thing we need to do with the back is we need to attach our little clips here. So we want to make sure we're not going to hit our needle when we're sewing anything. So I'm going to place that, what is it, half an inch down. And I'm going to position them so they are three inches apart. So three inches from the outside edge to the outside edge. And then I'm going to take that to the machine and I'm just going to tack that on there. We have those on. And now we'll move over to our card pocket. That's the line where we joined our two pieces together. So let's just disregard that one. But you'll see all these other lines and they are for folding back and forward. The first fold is back, then forward, then under, then back, then under, then back, under. So you'll see. It condenses down and then I'm going to get a piece just going to get a piece of um, binding and I'm going to bind the edge I'm going to do that on both sides you'll see I have my little card pockets there my three pockets then I'm going to take a lining piece and I'm going to place this on here I'm going to place it let's say an inch and a half from the top I'm going to center it and then I'm going to stitch around the entire square straight down like that to secure it in place. So that is now stitched on there. Lovely! Now I'm going to take another piece of lining and I'm going to take the passport pocket and I'm also going to get another piece of binding I'm going to iron that in half
So we've got our two passport pocket pieces. I'm going to put a piece of binding over the top. Now I'm going to stitch straight across here. I'm going to take two lining pieces. I'm going to face them out. So wrong sides together. I'm going to place my pocket on top. And then I'm just going to take this to the machine and I'm going to baste this on close to the edge, right around the edge. Now we've got our passport pocket and we've got that other lining piece which goes with our back and now we're going to work on our front. We're going to take our seven inch zip I'm going to put my zipper tab on first because <laughs> I always forget so let this be a warning let's put this on first shall we all right so outer fabric face up zip face down now just decide on which way you want your zip to open. So if we're, we want it to open that way and we want it to open that way, which way has our bag been opened? Let's see. Oh, the bag's got a double zip. Okay, so let's open from left to right. So clip that on there. Then we're going to take our lining piece face down and put that on top also. I'm going to take that to the machine and we're going to stitch straight across here. When I've done that, I'm going to fold that open and I'm going to press that down and I am going to top stitch along this edge to hold that in place. I'm going to take our top piece and we're going to flop that down like that. Close up our zip. And I'm going to measure that up, center it, clip that on. I'm going to take that to the machine and I'm going to stitch across here. Then I'm going to do the same thing and top stitch this side. And our front is done. We're almost ready to put everything together. So I'm going to take my back panel and my lining and I am going to baste them together and I'm going to take my front panel and my front panel lining so make sure my pocket is showing on the inside because the other one is for in there so um, take them to the machine and baste them on all the way around the very edge so you've only got two pieces Now for our zip and our gusset, we need a 12 inch zip and our gusset. I'm putting my zip up, I'm putting my lining up and I'm putting my outer fabric face down. Putting a clip on the end. And I'm going to stitch that at a half inch, just there. 
Then I'm going to match up these ends. Now my zip is shorter than the gusset and that's meant to be like that. But let's line that up and line that up. Put a clip on the end. I'm going to stitch that with a half inch seam allowance and then I'm going to open this out. I'm going to top stitch just across the edge there. So I've done that and I've top stitched and now for the sake of making life easy I'm just going to baste along the edge where those two pieces are to keep them in place. Going to take my zipper piece and just going to put a little snip in the bottom where it's halfway. I'm fold this in half and at the bottom. and bottom center of the front. I'm going to take the front and I'm going to take my zip and match up my bottom notches from this piece. If you need to clip into any of these little corners here, you can do that. To help ease it around the corner. But apart from that, once you've done that, you can go to the machine and stitch that in place. Now I have one piece sewn on. I'm going to put this one on. Once I've got that clipped in, I'll take that to the machine and stitch all the way around. And we can put our binding on. I'm going to start at the bottom. Look how good those little card pockets look. Slip the card in there. Put my passport on that side. I've got the front pocket in here. That's pretty good. It's so cute with my binding on. Now I just got to finish off my binding and then do that side and we're done. Our binding is on. So now we have, let's see, we have card pockets. 
So I can fit three cards in there. And on this side, I have my passport pocket, which securely fits my passport in there. The binding looks amazing. The inside of the bag is so neat. All right, let's turn it out the right way and have a look, shall we? One little thread there. Take that off. <laughs> How good does it look? And I've got my little pocket on the front so I can put my keys in there if I want to. Then I have my crossbody strap. Now I can use that as a crossbody bag. <laughs> and when I don't need a crossbody bag, let's close this up. How good is that? So I can piggyback on the front. Now I won't lose that. And if you want a little more protection, but quick access, put it on the back. So let's go under here. Gonna clip that on. Now when this is on my back, this will be between me and my bag. So nobody is going to be able to grab it, which is absolutely superb when you're traveling. So if you just need that for a quick entry to the airplane and you're in the airport, that is great. And then when you get to your hotel and you no longer need all of this, we can use this with our crossbody strap as our day trip bag. This is so good. So good. They look fantastic together. That's our backpack and our piggyback. Our piggyback backpack. Another quirky project by Billy 50 Designs. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this page and hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time a new video is released.